Administration. We thank you for your patience as we prepare to set up for this afternoon's program, and we hope that, um, that you enjoy uh, the schedule that we have planned for you. Um, just to tell you a little bit about um, the organization that's sponsoring this conference, um, Families and Children's Justice Organization is really committed to educating the public and raising awareness about abuse and neglect of children in the foster care system in Michigan. In addition, um, thinking about the challenges that parents and family members have when children are thrust into the foster care system. And also about the non-existent checks and balances in the judicial branch of the foster care system. How, treat, how children are treated in the system, and then also um, how the uh, overuse of psychotropic drugs um, occurs in medicating children who are in the foster care system. So our goal is to really um, get that word out um, and really educate the public. So moving right into our first, um, our first guest, it's actually a play. Um, today we have Vanessa Harris and the um, Wisdom Speakers um, Theater Troupe, and they're here to perform a play called What About the Children? Um, Ms. Harris is the uh, director and producer of the group, and the play has been um, produced in collaboration with Roberta, Roberta, excuse me, Roberta Walker King, who is the play, playwright um, for the play. The cast are members of the Brightmore Christian Church of Novi, Michigan, and they recently started to go on the road, recently started to do some plays themselves, so um, this is um, one of their um, efforts. So ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to um, bring out the cast of What About the Children? Jackson, where's the father? Oh, well, he, he's running late, Your Honor. He's running late. He, he's working, but he's going to be here. He'll be here. But I, I want to say some things. Can I, keep, can I say some things? Sure, go ahead. Okay, Your Honor. Now, I want you to know that the foster care system is broken. Your Honor, it's broken. I spoke to the CPS lady. She assured me that every effort would be made to place the child with the next of kin. I'm the grandmother. I'm the next of kin. They bypassed me and they sent my granddaughter straight to foster care. This is cruel. This is a cruel thing. Tearing families apart. But it ain't new. No. 
because I know your honor. This kind of thing was going on way back in slavery. And slavery, entire families were separated. Mrs. Jackson, uh, what do you mean? Your honor? You know, people came to America in chains. And entire families were separated. Put on auction blocks and sold them like, like cattle. Right now, when we talked about this, he he prayed every night. You hear me? I don't I mean nothing. I mean nothing. Get between you and your. Do you hear me? Yeah. Someday I'm coming back a free man. I'll take you all with me. All right now, another man is gonna come and get you. He's gonna take you to another white lady. Come, come on, you two.
The challenges that face our communities and raising our families is many. We have many challenges. But many of those challenges, they stem out of our past and they continue on today. Mrs. Jackson, where is your granddaughter's father? And y'all, 
enough, what they really need is they need love and they need support. They need it just like my granddaughter, Jessica. That's what she needs.
Mrs. Jackson, I want to thank you for enlightening us today with your historical perspective. I've made my decision. I order that all charges of neglect be dismissed and that Jessica be returned to her family.